I love Teresa Musi's dismount. Okay. So the, the dog is in the footstall. She does a little juggle. Right. And it's not an easy, it's not a hard throw. So the dog is on her feet, hops off, and as the dog hops off, she throws it like that. That's awesome. And then, oops, she has and then she has time to jump off. So it's an upside down throw, and okay. you can it standing. Because I do it standing, I have a dog that passes through my legs, and as they pass through my legs, I throw it. So it's an nice. upside down release, and um, you just you lean, you have to lean back. And since you're already on the ground, it's like you're in the perfect position for it. And it just comes, like the, the grip is like, okay, is this? Okay. And it just, it just, it just turns okay, yeah. <laughs> The big thing you have to worry about when you when you let it go. Yeah, and the farther back you lean when you're standing, the better it's gonna fly. And you just have to think about um, when you, trying to when throw you let it, flat. it go, keeping it flat. And okay. the reason why the farther back you lean, Stay and this is the fine. same thing for a chest fault this yeah. way, um, it's hard to make this release and break your wrist. So, in other words, you're trying to do it flat, and so to do that, you have to turn your wrist, and now suddenly, that's a really awkward position yeah. to throw in. So, like, when people do the chest fault, what I say is, just hold the disc, and now lean back. And just let your let your arm naturally, naturally go back. So now the disc is at the same angle as my upper body. So when I let it go, it's in the perfect spot for the dog. Gotcha. And so the same thing with that throw. Sorry, <laughs> she's, she's just having fun. She's like, whatever. So that's a really, I love that. That's a good one. That's, um, really good that's one. probably the coolest one I've seen. And then I, no. um, there's a guy in the Kansas City Club who does the, a really cool throw. Um, Matt Bilderback does this too. Hey! It's okay. No. So, um, <laughs> in the footstall, and so the dog's still in the footstall, and as the dog is coming off, it's a, and I'm not very good at this release. Really. Um, she just throws it up there and it all kind of goes yeah, over it's, it's like that. Gotcha. And so you could also do it, it probably as a spinner, like that. And then the dog lands easier. behind him? Yeah. So then so how does, kind of, so what does he do? Sit up and then what does he do after Yeah, that? so as the dog does that and lands behind him, because um, he's here, ready? Yeah. Then I think he's, he sits up and, and then, then has time out. to throw oh. out this way. I, I don't know if he doesn't. I think he doesn't over here. <laughs> that was girl, that was nice. So cool. Okay, that just gives me some ideas because getting yeah. out of a footstall can be hard. Like, oh yeah, yeah. To, to yeah. get that time to get up and not right. look like you're a klutz and right. have the dog out there. So Mark Muir does a Mark Muir does a 